Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and I'm going to be a first year kindergarten teacher. If you have not been to my channel before, welcome. We are on an amazing journey as a first year teacher and we are doing all sorts of fun things now that it is time to set up my classroom and get ready to go back to school. I start school in the beginning of September so it is quickly approaching and we have a lot of fun projects to get done before the school year starts. One of which being I've always, always, always wanted to make crate seats. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have my materials behind me and I'm going to show you guys how I'm making my crate seats. It's super super easy nothing to stress out about at all and it's such a fun idea and super convenient too because you can store stuff in these seats and obviously kids can sit on them as well so we're gonna go ahead and get started into how I'm making my crate seats so one of the most important things for crate seats is the crate so I picked up three of these crates they're just like big plastic milk crates from Walmart these are the Sterilite brand and they have so many different colors right now than now that it's back to school season so I just wanted to get white to keep it simple I also went and got wood cut I picked up this wood from Home Depot one of important thing to make sure is that the wood you are getting is thick enough that the kids can sit on it and it won't snap in half so I picked up this wood I don't remember exactly what the width of it is but you can tell that it's pretty thick it's not some flimsy board so I do recommend getting a thicker board or doubling up if you have to on a couple thinner pieces of wood you want to make sure that it's sitting on the inner rim of the crate just because it kind of tucks in there and it fits perfectly it's not on the outer rim because it was on the outer rim it doesn't really have anything to attach to and it will kind of slide off so this inner thinner rim is what you want to measure if you your crate is a different size um, you want it to tuck in there so that the seat can actually sit in the crate and the kids won't be like sliding all over the place you also need some type of foam I'm just using an old mattress pad I had this from college it was something I'm not going to use anymore so I'm just going to use this and cut pieces of it to fit on top of the wood so that it's a little bit cushiony and the kids aren't just sitting on a wooden plank and then last but not least I also have some fabric to go on top of the seats I just chose this blue and pink pattern these are really great because these are from Walmart and they are the Waverly Inspirations fat quarter um, pieces of fabric so you don't actually have to even ask someone to cut it for you so if you're just making a few seats one of these should cover each of the seats um, maybe even more I'll let you know but yeah so I just got a couple of these to cover the crate seats and I actually got some more of these because I made some other cushions for some other chairs in my classroom so you'll see those if you watch my classroom setup vlogs I will have those seats in there soon they're super cute my sister actually made them for me so these are 18 inches by 21 inches and they should be more than enough fabric for each seat and the only tools that I'm using for this project besides a saw for cutting the wood is which by the way you can easily go to Home Depot I went there first and had them cut the wood but I kind of have the wrong dimensions so they cut it a little bit too big so I my dad that actually went back in and cut it with our own saw but you can get it cut at um, Home Depot for free. I'm going to be using the glue to glue the foam to the wood just because I want it to stay and not kind of move all over the place. So this is Gorilla Glue and it says that it's good for foam so we're going to try that and then I'm also just using a staple gun to staple the fabric up underneath of the cushion. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down one of my pieces of wood onto the foam and I'm just cutting around the border to measure how big I want the foam to be. I ended up cutting two pieces of foam per crate that I was doing because I wanted it to be a little bit thicker and cushionier and then I just kept tracing that one piece of foam that I cut and making the rest of them. So instead of gluing the foam to the wood like I told you guys I was going to, I ended up just gluing the two pieces of foam together so that they kind of just stayed in place a little bit more and weren't moving around. So here I'm just taking my Gorilla Glue and rubbing it all over the foam and then pressing them together and then putting the wood on top of them to weigh it down because it's a little bit heavier. So now it's time for the fabric and to put the whole thing together. So I just laid the piece of fabric down and then I went and put the foam on top of it and then the board of course. And here I'm taking my staple gun and I started on one edge and just tried to pull the fabric as tight as I can around the foam and the board just to make it super super tight and not have any wrinkles or anything. And I'm just taking my staple gun and putting a bunch of staples in just so that it's super secure. So I'm making sure every time that I fold the fabric up over the board it's very very tight and that there are no crinkles or wrinkles or anything. then decided to add a handle to my crate seats just so that it's a little bit easier to pull up the seat if you do want to store things inside of it so I just took a piece of thicker white ribbon folded it together and then just stapled it down on the side of the bottom of the crate just as simple as that and this way it has a little tab that sticks out so the kids can pull it up or you can pull it up easily if you want to access the inside All 
Alright you guys, that is it for my crate seat making tutorial today. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They're so cute and just going to be really fun and practical. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you do make your own crate seats, make sure that you post it on Instagram and tag me at they call me Miss S. That is my teacher Instagram, so if you would like to keep up with other things that I've been doing for my classroom for my first year, then go ahead and follow it and tag me in your crate seat picture so I can see how they turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye! Thank you.